everybody welcome to yet another video so today we're having a little play with the fuji spray mp v8 and that's with a 1.2 tip so this is the non hvlp version we're doing some yamaha speed block decals which you can see doing now this is about i think it's about five times normal speed so it doesn't take long to get through these and you'll you'll see the the gun in action but uh just a few things about the decals if you are interested a, a bit in you know some of the decals if you do bike stuff and that i cut these myself on a a um silhouette cameo four i've actually got a five out now but i cut them out on a cameo four i designed them myself which is relatively easy to do but if you want to know a little bit more about that i did do a video of showing you how you can uh, take an image copy it and you cut it out in uh, vinyl you can you can obviously get stencil material etc so there's a bit more about that i'll put a, a video in the a link to the video in the description so that you can find out a bit more about that the other thing i've got to say with this is that this isn't my gun i was actually loaned it um by a guy called john who's a friend of mine uh he lent me the gun and thank you john if you're if you're watching this thanks very much i will be returning it to you very soon because i have still got it uh but i will be sending it back to you so uh thanks to him for lending me the gun john has got an instagram page so i'll put a link in the description to his instagram page and if you want to see what he um, does with this gun and the the other guns that he's got get some really really nice finishes so uh it, it, it's a good a good um way of seeing what these what these guns can do but yeah anyway so thanks for that john so what did i think of the gun well an initial impressions when i first got it when i opened the box was it's quite heavy and it is quite heavy it's about 510 grams uh, I'm not sure what that is in ounces, but about about 510 grams. And give you an idea, a Sata jet weighs about, by that I mean the X5500 or the 5000 Sata jet, weighs about 535 grams. And they are quite heavy. Um, so initial initial reaction to this is it's quite heavy. It also seems slightly front heavy. Uh, when you've got a pot on the top, it, it, it feels it doesn't feel so bad. It depends how much is in the pot as to how more balanced it makes you feel. But it it's definitely feels quite top heavy. The other thing with the with the gun is that I found that the trigger seems to be a bit too short. If you made it any longer, it would actually hit the the casting. So I'm not quite sure what they've got what they've not quite got right there so you put two or i put two fingers on it now i've got reasonable size hands i take a, a large glove but when i put my fingers around it it doesn't feel like there's enough room for two fingers it only feels like there's enough room for one and a half and you cannot do anything with the other finger you can't use it one you know with one finger so it just feels a little bit awkward so to add that to the 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 weight of it it just didn't feel quite right in my hands other people might feel that it's um you know fine for what they're doing but in my hands it just didn't actually uh feel particularly particularly good uh i think i mentioned this is actually speed up so it's speeded up so it won't be on uh for mm. long the decals but i thought i'd leave them in because i know some people do find them quite interesting uh and th this tank you will see more of this tank as as we go along because uh i've got some brush uh airbrush work to do on the top with some decals or an isle of man tt logo so the idea of this was to put the decals on and we'll cover it in clear coat using the fuji and then i'll sand that down do the uh, spray work on top of the tank and then we'll finally clear it over which you won't see in this video this is just the decals and clearing clearing over it basically just to see what the fuji's like but as i said at the start this is in a 1.2 uh, and john lent me a 1.2 tip set and he also had a 1.3 tip set which incorporates a needle a tip 
and a cap. The caps actually look the same, apart from the markings. The cap caps look the same. Um, everything looks the same, really, apart from the size of the hull, which is, is what you would expect, I suppose, between 1.2 and 1.3. So using this in 1.2, and I have used it in 1.3 as well since I've had it. I've had it nearly two months now. Um, I have used it in 1.3 as well. It became obvious that the 1.2 is is better for a flatter finish and i think that's just because it, it just puts out slightly less material now i know you can back something off but i i normally like to use um um for clear coat anyway i always use you like to use a gun on full fluid because i just think it i just think it works better uh so i will normally use most of my guns on full fluid set at a certain pressure for this gun i use two bar uh, i'm not i haven't even looked to see what's recommended but i i would imagine it's somewhere around there because it worked perfectly well at two bar um and a, as you will see as we go on the finish from this gun was that was actually quite good the problem i think for me was trying to to rate it somewhere in in the in the guns that i have uh, this is Fuji Spray is a Canadian company, but it's actually a Taiwanese gun. So the gun is actually made in Taiwan. So by the time it gets to the UK, the, the UK importer for these, which I'll put a link in the description, uh, it's SP Supplies. Uh, by the time they got them over here, and initially they were about 550 GB pounds, which was... It was just far too much money, far too much money. They've since come down. I think they're about four hundred pound at the moment. I think actually there's an offer on at the moment because it's Easter, but um, about four hundred four hundred pound. That's without a pot. With a pot, I think they're about four forty, and I still think that's probably just a bit too expensive uh, for 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 what they are because they are a good they are a good gun build quality is actually excellent uh reminded me when you when you first hold it it reminds me of a, a 3300 or a 4600 segola uh you know you could bang a nail in with it and it, it you know the, the nail would come off worse that's that sort of build quality and that sort of feel uh you, the weight's there as well which gives it that uh you know having something that's lightweight is actually quite good to move around but what, something feeling heavy in your hand gives you a, a sense that it's built well. For, for a lot of people anyway, and I, I'm included in that. You get a sense that it's built well. So as far as the build quality goes, it's actually I think it's actually very good. And I don't think you'll get many problems with it. And I know they do a, a full uh, spares backup, so you can get spare parts for it. But I think what spoiled me uh, was... When, when, just before I got it, well, no, quite a while before I got this actually, because I got this about two months ago. Uh, I got some porpoise guns, and those things are price wise about half the price of one of these. Uh, and they just they just felt to me, they just felt better. And I think that's probably what's what's given me um, a, a, a bit of confusion as to where to actually where to actually slot this gun in uh, because it, it as i say it's not a bad gun it actually performs quite well it's built quite well uh everything about it is actually okay but it, it just leaves me feeling slightly short um i would i would if i genuinely had really liked it i would have bought one uh because that's the sort of person i am uh, obviously i've got to send this back but I, I would I would have bought one, but it didn't actually do enough for me to, to want to buy one. So I find myself, uh, you know, talking on YouTube now, reviewing this, and I'm just a little bit, um, I'm not quite sure what pigeonhole to put it in, and I'm not normally like that, really. But as far as the gun goes, I've used it for base coat, and I've used it for clear coat. And as I say, it works very, very well. Uh, it's not, um the best base coat gun it actually is it's quite good um but it's not probably in my opinion not as good as like the dv1 base gun um 
with the B uh, B plus cap. It is not as good as that. Um, it's not as good as the 460 Aqua cap on the Segola. Um, but but it's it's not it's not a bad all round gun. It's just as I keep saying, or as I said before, it's just the price of it. I think maybe it's just a little bit um, overpriced. The air consumption on this is quoted at about 12.5 cfm at two bar, uh, and I would say that's probably about I would say that's probably about right. So that puts it up into the the same sort of region, maybe slightly more, as the De Vilbus Techna Pro Light with a TE20 cap on. Something like a TE10 cap uses about 10 CFM. So you certainly wouldn't call it air hungry, but you wouldn't call it uh, very fugal either. either. Something like um, uh, a Bellaria, an Iwata Bellaria, uses about 7.7 CFM at two bar which is you know it's it's perfectly happy working at that pressure so it is relatively it is relatively high for um uh, an rp or mp or trans type cat they also make uh, a hvlp version which which I, I haven't i haven't got which uses quite a bit more air as as is standard for hvlp uh i've had a, I've, I've read a few people saying that uh, it's probably not not the best maybe more suited for waterborne paint i would have thought i haven't used this for uh waterborne paint i've only used it for solvent based and for clear coats as so i've used it in 1.2 and 1.3 i found the 1.2 better for base coat and i also found the 1.2 better for a flatter finish with a uh, clear coat it's not a particularly fast gun it's not it's not slow but it's not particularly fast when i first when i first got it i was expecting it to be quite fast because a few people have said it's quite fast but if you uh if you compare it to something like a segola uh 4600 1.3 xl with dvr clear cap or the sata 5000 1.3 rp uh or the Porpish PRD 715 in a 1.3. If you compare it to, to guns like that, it's actually not particularly fast. So it's a good middle-of-the-road gun. The, the only thing I would question with that is it for, for something that's not particularly fast, it uses quite a bit of air, uh, which will suit some people. It, it won't necessarily suit um, other people. But certainly the finishes you can achieve can achieve with this even with the 1.3 or the 1.4 are, are are very very good and i just i just found myself thinking that something was was lacking slightly and i i'm not quite i'm not quite sure what really um but you can see the overspray is quite controlled it's not a huge amount of overspray i would i would have said it would be a, a good gun for people spraying at home um, but for the air consumption, really, I think the air consumption is probably a bit high for most people. Uh, but certainly, if you've got the air supply, then um, you know nothing, nothing wrong with the gun. I suppose the, the the best feature of it I found is the build quality. I think the build quality is very, very good. Um, uh, I I put for it a uh, a couple of different clear coats but they were all what are described as um high solids clear coats so i didn't put any medium solids clear coat or, or ultra high solids clear coats for it so i can't really comment on that but i think most people probably use a high solids clear coat but as you can see really nicely finished gun uh it looks slightly front heavy as well and it feels slightly front heavy when you when you have it it feels like there's a lot of weight at the um, the front uh, which you know for, for, for when you're using it for a short amount of time isn't so much of a problem but if you was using it all day i imagine it would be a more more of a problem but as you can see the finish it achieves is actually absolutely fine and as i said this is going to be sanded down so i wasn't particularly worried about it 
and it was during the days of experimenting with the gun to to see what kind of a finish that i could get with it I d i've done a few videos with it um comparing it to different guns so they'll come out throughout the the months ahead because i, I you know i've got to send this thing back uh but yeah i mean i've been quite pleased with the finish quite pleased with the performance but i just can't see uh that it's really um uh, you know w where it fits really uh, what what actually happened originally and this is quite a while ago now when these first come over to the uk there's a few people on youtube that had them uh and i got i got some messages through on instagram saying that oh you know the uh fuji seems to be making a bit of bit uh, there's a bit of a fuss being made back in the u in the uk about the fuji and it was one guy from uh the us and one guy from australia and if you, you you're watching the channel then you you'll know who you are they sent me a message through and they said one said i've got one and i've got rid of it because uh, i didn't particularly like it and the other one said i've got one but i i don't really use it much but I, I think the fuss being made over them is, is much more than, uh, you know, it, it, they're worth. Uh, so I was a little bit intrigued with that. Uh, and, you know, I, I hailed off from buying one. And I'm glad I did, really, because thanks to John for, for lending me it. But, I, you know, I, there's probably not enough there for me to actually think, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll have one of those and add it to my collection. It's just It's just you know not enough there but not taking anything away from the gun you can see the finish it gives at, you know great finish no problem no problem with it at all it's just whether it's actually worth uh that that amount of money uh these these speed blocks are just going back to the speed blocks are a real for me they're back from the 70s they're they're from the yamaha uh 1970s they were originally uh bought on by the american racing corporation for yamaha and they bought out these speed speed blocks on originally kenny roberts bike uh and for me they just they just signal uh yamaha and racing uh from from then to to eternity really because i'm of, of that of that age um i'm actually a little bit early for uh, Kenny Roberts in the first sort of days but yeah I'm of that age anyway guys I've rabbited on as usual hope you enjoyed the video and um, you keep watching them and uh, I'll keep making them thanks for watching bye bye <laughs>